Did anybody else watch Great Bear Girl growing up? Because for me, anytime that I'm drinking something on camera, I instantly think of her. Also, low key, you feel like she could potentially be like a crazy plant person. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Caitlin from Leave Me Alone Plants, and today we are talking about one of my favorite underrated plants that nobody, I mean, absolutely nobody talks about, and that is a cyclamen. Now, very traditionally, these plants are actually grown outdoors. However, you can also absolutely grow them as a house plant, and the really cool thing about these plants is that they flower as well. So if you were gifted one of these plants, if you have one outside, or if you have one and you wanna bring it inside, then keep on watching and I'm gonna tell you how I keep these guys happy and healthy. So funny enough, the very first time that I ever saw this plant, it wasn't online, it wasn't in a plant shop, I had actually been out at a local cafe here. Now that cafe is called Schmooze, and if you are ever traveling through the Metro Phoenix area, um, please, you have to stop at this place. It is so cool. It's basically this like secret garden hidden right in Old Town Scottsdale. Um, Great food, amazing coffee. They just added a bar there, which is super, super dope. So um, literally, if you come into town, please, you have to go there. And also like hit me up, let's meet up there because I just want an excuse to go. So call me maybe. But um, basically outside their secret garden, secret garden, it's not really secret, but that's what I call it. Um, I was sitting out there one day and I looked down and I saw this plant and literally was like, oh my God, what is this? Um, so I ended up taking a picture, posted it online, and people were so kind to inform me that it was a cyclamen. Um, now I couldn't find it for quite a while, and then lo and behold, I ended up going to a nursery that happens to be right next to this little cafe, and oh my god, you guys, there it was. So I'm going to bring this plant closer and um, show you guys the reason why I fell in love with this plant. As you can see, it of course has these beautiful flowers, which you know, are great and all, very cool. But what really made me fall in love with this plant, of course, is this foliage. Like, look at the design on here. Where have you ever seen a leaf that looks like that? So, um, of course, I saw it and, you know, had to have it. You know, I feel like I say that a lot on this channel. I swear I'm not like some trust fund kid who just spends their parents' money on plants. What you gotta do is give me some money, okay? But now that I've talked for, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, I guess it's finally time to get into the actual care for these plants. Now, typically when you see plants with flowers, normally to me that indicates that the plant is probably gonna be more of a bright light plant. When grown outside, they will recommend that you grow this in a little bit of a shadier area. Now, what does that translate into when you're bringing it into your house? Well, if you think about it, even in a shadier area, area outside, typically that plant is going to be getting a decent amount of even ambient light. However, when you bring it inside, those light levels naturally get brought down a little bit. So while you will see recommendations for shade outdoors, I do recommend giving it a kind of a medium to a brighter light indoors. Now, of course, we just took a look at that beautiful foliage on there and it has kind of those nice silver veining and patterns on the leaves. However, if you start to notice that it's silver variegation, I don't think variegation is like the right word in this scenario, but uh, basically if you see those silver patterns kind of going away and fading, um, that might be a good sign for you that it could be enjoying a little bit more light. Now that brings us into watering, and while I wouldn't say that this plant is super difficult to care for, I will say that when it comes to watering, they can be a little temperamental. So I like to go in and water this guy just before he gets to what I would consider a critical dryness, um, you know, where he's completely dried out. If you let this guy get too dry, he will droop over and he'll definitely uh, be aware that he is thirsty. I'm melting! Now on the flip side of that, um, they are pretty sensitive that if you go in with too much water, they have wet feet and they're just sitting in that water, um, the leaves will turn yellow. So be mindful that you're not going in with too much or too little water. I know that's very vague, but um, basically just keep an eye on it. And once that soil starts to feel like it's drying out, that is the time that you're gonna wanna go in and give him a drink. Now, of course, to avoid those yellow leaves, as always, making sure that your pot has very good drainage, making sure that your soil is, you know, well draining is going to really help you out in that scenario. In terms of humidity, these plants have extremely thick leaves, and I have not run into humidity being an issue, especially inside my 
house. Typically living here in Arizona, the humidity is very low. And as I had mentioned, the cafe that they grow these at, they actually grow them outside in Arizona. So um, if you have lower humidity, don't stress too much about it with these plants. Now, as for the flowers, I think one of the coolest thing about these plants is not just that they flower, but they have an incredibly long flowering period. So these plants can flower traditionally from fall all the way until spring. And I think it's extra cool because traditionally when we think about when plants are going to be flowering, typically we think about the summertime, not, you know, the fall, the winter. So um, overall, if you're looking for something during the winter when you're kind of down and it's dark and it's dreary to, um, you know, brighten up your home with some color, then these are a great option. Now when thinking about seasons, the only other thing you're going to want to keep in mind about these plants is that they actually do go dormant in the summer. And when we're thinking about their dormancy, I think it's really important to keep in mind where these plants are native to. So these plants are native to the Mediterranean. And as always, you know, being here in Arizona, what my weather looks like during different seasons is going to be really different from what other places of the world look like during different seasons. Once it starts heating up, that's when these plants naturally are going to start dying back, they're going to go dormant, and you're not going to want to go in with any water. Basically, you are going to want to cut back the growth, and that is going to basically let the plant know, hey, it's time to go into dormancy, and we'll see you again in the fall time. Now, I specifically mentioned um, to keep in mind what your temperature is like compared to those Mediterranean regions. Um, here, we are currently going into fall time. However, here in Arizona, it is still well into the 100s. Now, um, it cooled down for a couple days, and I made the mistake I have this other uh, cyclamen made the mistake of bringing him outside and uh, it heated back up and what I believe happened to this guy is it almost tricked him into going back into that summer dormancy um, as you can see he kind of is dying back a little bit it has some of those yellowing leaves um, completely normal don't freak out if you know it's heating up near you and this starts happening near your plant completely fine um, basically what you're gonna want to do at this point is just cut him back um, pluck out any of that dead growth and you'll be good to go the same goes for the flowers um, just in their normal cycle as is of course flowers typically are not going to last as long as the normal leaf foliage as is on plants so when you start to notice that you know a flower is kind of drooping over it like this guy is right here. Basically what I like to do is just go right into the base of the plant and just pluck it out from there. Um, and the great thing about doing this is the more that you are on top of it plucking out those flowers, the more that it will promote new growth and new flowers throughout the flowering season of this plant. And I feel like I've been talking about flowers forever right now, but one of the really cool things about these plants and their flowers is that they come in such a wide variety of colors. So um, my bigger one, out white flowers. This one kind of has a mix of like this light pink to fuchsia flowers. Um, really any color in between you can find. So there's kind of a flavor for everyone with these guys. Now one additional thing that you might want to take into note when you are buying these guys or if you happen to see one out in the store, maybe it's the summertime and you see one that you know is looking full and it's looking <laughs> healthy and happy and it's blooming. It is possible in a nursery to trick plants into thinking that it is a different time of year similar to how my plant potentially was tricked into thinking it's summer even though it's technically fall but like 100 degrees every day um so don't be alarmed if you see one of these out at the store in the summer and it is bloomed um you know nurseries can trick plants into thinking that it's different seasons based on how they are caring for those plants it's particularly really common to see these out around mother's day kind of wrapped up in those little plastic foils to be gifted out so but again just be mindful of what time of year it is and how to care for this plant and if you have one of those little plastic foil covers on the bottom of your pot please 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 take it off because otherwise it is going to trap all that water in there and you are going to rot the roots okay well i feel like i've been talking about cyclamens for like my entire life now so i think we are going to call it quits on this video for today but as always if you have questions if you have comments something about this plant that you wanted to mention please drop it in the comment section down below as always i will get back to you as quickly as i possibly can don't forget to hit that like button on this video to share some love share some support around here and while you're at it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video Bye.